Jerking, eye twitching, all of that. If you get any of that, be sure to take a rest. Okay, hello, welcome back to Vampire Survivors, where I guess we're just going to play the Melda. <laughs> We should still be good with the Melter. Okay, but um, let's go check out some of these, right? So we've completed the Gallo Tower. We've completed the Dairy Plant. We've completed the Invalid... The Inlaid Library, sorry. But we haven't completed the Mad Forest. But there's these Challenge Zones and then Ilmoire's bonus level. So let's have a look at that. Okay, because we unlocked Random Azul, um, healing is doubled, recovering HP damages nearby things. Okay, we've still got the same thing. So the enemies don't move in this. Okay, I can see what's going on here. The, the flowers crawled in a bit there to the left. That could be interesting. Okay, I do like garlic. Will garlic just let me run through the flowers? It will! Okay, well this is... <laughs> now just walking in the flowers. Um, I do like the peach home, but the axe always gives us like the most things. Plus, with the peach home, we have to get the other bird as well. The axe is very damaging. Okay, so <laughs> now we're just walking casually through a bunch of things. I'm going to take the fire wand. Like, you know, we don't have much of a choice there in what we've got going on. But, okay, the flowers are all growing in. <laughs> King Bible! Could be interesting, but let's upgrade our basic wand and... Okay, we should also look on the map. Okay, I'm surprised there's nothing on the map. I really thought with this being, like, you know, a special area like this, where nothing's actually attacking us whatsoever, that um, there would be some sort of special stuff hidden. <laughs> I wonder if you can even die to the flowers. No, we're just casually burning down all of the flowers. Like, you know, it's, everything's fine. <laughs> also, time is still counting up. Right, let's take the garlic. Time is counting up. But... <laughs> Do we ha No, it said 15 minutes, didn't it? So there is a time limit. Okay. That thing can hurt us. The pots can hurt us. It's not just <laughs> safety, but, you know, not everything is going to kill us. We can die, but, you know, most of it is kind of safe. Okay, trees can also hurt us. We could just stand still. We could just stand very, very still and not get injured by anything. I'm going to take the peach zone. And then we're going to hope for the other bird as well. And try and combine the two, and then if we get both of them and fully level them, it will give us the other bird and another space for more weapons, so... Okay, magic wand. Oh, we're not going to get treasure chests, are we? Because there's not legendaries, I would imagine, in this, unless there's going to be a legendary bush. <laughs> They're going to be an elite bush to chop down. This like literally gardening simulator right now. The weeds are spreading. Weeds are spreading a bit too far and too fast. <laughs> Can we keep them at bay? That is the question. Okay, mostly I'm just getting the experience that we've already left around rather than going out too far. Um, Laurel could shield us, but again, you know, these things, <laughs> if it becomes a they're too deadly, we just stand still. There's no chance that that's a thing, is there? Okay, what is this circle that's going around? Is that like a danger? Is that my effect or is that an enemy? <laughs> um, ebony wings, it evolves the other bird. Okay, so we can max evolve the birds now, we just need to level them up. Although, you know, if there's no treasure chests, we can't. If there are treasure chests, then we can. That's the entire crux of the matter. <laughs> Will we find a treasure chest to even evolve things in the first place? Um, the Pomarella evolves our garlic, so we're going to take that. Now, 
I remember seeing in the um, upgrades thing when we grabbed it, the tome, that there were like things that upgrades with three items together. But I think we need like three evolved items that evolve into something even spe more spectacular. Because it's not showing me everything that it first showed me in the initial grimoire when we go look at it. So, you know, did we get a peek whilst it was natural? But now that we, you know, just have it regularly, we have to actually find all the synergies before it will show us them. Because there are definitely more synergies than that on the thumbnail of my YouTube video <laughs> that I took the screenshot of it. There are definitely way more synergies than that that we are currently lacking. I'm going to upgrade the birds, even though the axe is really good. And then again, you know, I've just upgraded the normal thing rather than... <laughs> wings. Rather than what we want. But, you know, I haven't memorized all the synergies or anything, so... I don't know them. <laughs> I just look what we see going on. Okay, we're four minutes into the 15 minute run. I wonder if there's something different that attacks us at the end of the time in this. Okay, some very colourful plants all coming out to play. Lots of very colourful plants indeed. Okay, we're taking hits, <laughs> embarrassingly, on stationary plants. Okay, eating the chickens is pretty good though. It does a lot of damage to things. Okay, there's an attractor just in the middle of nowhere. Empty tome, magic wand to full level. And we might not be able to fully evolve things, which would be sad. <laughs> I'm not really looking at a lot of the extra stuff that we're getting. I'm just like, does it upgrade something or does it evolve something? If not, it gets left behind. But there are evolutions that we don't necessarily know at the moment still. Plus the Pichones will combine into one and give us another weapon slot. And then evolve that even further as well. So maybe I... well... Maybe I should focus on them. We need the treasure chest capability to even stand a chance of doing that. So, <laughs> you know, without that it's kind of irrelevant to even mention it. Because I don't think we're going to get any treasure chests here. But hey. Okay. Because not even that pot thing gives us a treasure chest, but seems like the rare elite of this. Okay, how is this level coming so laggy? Is it because I'm just running in one direction? <laughs> I think it might be because I'm just running in one direction. There has to be an achievement to die in the, um, the woods, right? <laughs> there has to be an achievement to die on this level. Okay, I should... Stop lagging about and loading infinite more flowers in. We should focus in the spot that we are and clean up all the gems that we're leaving behind. <laughs> you know, that's just way more and way more. Okay, that evolves the fire one. Should we ever get the ability to do that? No, one treasure chest wouldn't be too much to ask. But I doubt it. Maybe. Maybe towards the end we get some treasure chests. I doubt it, but maybe we do. Like, what would they think of at this level? It's just flowers. There has to be some special secret, right? Why else would it exist? Why else would it exist? That's what I don't know. Unless you're meant to die on it and, you know, get an achievement for that or, like, level up really, really quickly for an achievement again. Weapons fire more projectiles. I mean, that's good. Not an evolution for anything, but, you know, we're not getting evolutions for anything that I'm aware of by the looks of it. So, <laughs> so it's irrelevant. Okay, we're now up to autumn flowers. Uh, very autumnal right now. It's 
Chop down all the autumn flowers. Bom, bom, bom. Okay, we're halfway through this level. Right, the challenge mode should be a lot more interesting. <laughs> the challenge modes when we get to them should present a challenge rather than just like chop down the trees. I guess this is sort of like a warm up, I guess, maybe. I don't know. This feels too easy. And you know, why am I even considering evolutions when literally nothing can hurt us, really? Even walking into the trees with the garlic on, you know, even then it hurts it and, you know, we take a little damage but not really a lot. It's not really injuring us that much. Okay, now we're definitely into the midst of autumn because everything has just gone red. Not even the perennials are staying now. We're getting that. We're getting that. The time is running out. All we need is an attractor, and then we get a million more levels. But I really want the treasure chest. I really want a treasure chest. You know, we've left a lot of crystals behind, but it doesn't matter. They will come to us eventually. They will come to us with time. These trees are not hurting us at all. We could just walk straight into them and I'm hearing it going boo, 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 but it really doesn't matter. Like the health it's taking off is negligent. That has to be my thing, that circle that's going around, right? Because it there's no way for me to walk into that. There's absolutely no way for me to walk into that. Okay, we've reached a new season with the more threatening trees. <laughs> what they really need to do is at the end of this is give you a big challenging boss enemy that you can actually take on. <laughs> then that's something interesting, you know. You've um, you spent all this time with basically nothing, but you're leveling up and then it's like, now the real challenge begins, which is like face on this horde and see if you can beat it. I am interested to see if we can survive longer than the seven seconds over time that we had. Because I'm sure that there's ways of doing that for a considerable amount of time. And we could have even hidden in that top room where it was safe. And then, you know, if the end guy came and found us in there, teleported out of there. I don't know if he'd chase us down or if he gets stuck in there or what, but... Hello. Found a treasure chest! I probably should have saved it. Okay, we got an evolution. We found an old guy just wandering around. And so I was like, that's a human. <laughs> okay, but we got a treasure chest. And if we got one... There has to be more, right? Maybe it turns up because we fully evolved our thing. I don't know. It seems like a long time for that to happen. But maybe it's just because of the time. Maybe, you know, now that we're later in the game, there's more people wandering around. Okay. There's just people wandering around now because it's like, uh, it's treasure time to fully upgrade your things. Okay, so I probably should have, um, you know, not wasted that on just an ordinary upgrade. But I should have collected all of our crystals for now, you know, if we had these things leveled up enough, we could have got upgrades out of that treasure chest for definite. Tractor, I just need attractors more than anything. Like, if I can find an attractor, I can get all of this lovely loot that we've left behind. <laughs> all I need is an attractor. can find one in one of these things, I'm certain. Okay, well that's a chicken. There's another guy. I mean... I'm not gonna waste his treasure chest. He says. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste that one. I'm gonna wait. Okay, that guy is also there. 
endless guys with more and more treasure chests. Okay, we're taking a little damage, but it's not the end of the world. I wonder if they're going to spawn like infinite guys. Two treasure chests. I wonder if they'll spawn infinite guys because I'm not collecting the treasure chests. That's the question. Okay, we're at 12 minutes. Garlic. How close are you? Two more. Okay. I mean, once we level up the garlic. Once we level up the garlic. Okay, garlic is leveled up. Armor. Don't care. Full damage reduced, health in recovery increase, um, empty tome, wings. Axe. Axe. Okay, Axe needs two more. Axe needs one more. Pull more. I know, gotta go for the Axe, okay. But the axe is now going to get fully upgraded. Like, you know, wanted the, um, the birds, obviously, but... It's let's just pick up the chest and get a thing. <laughs> let's just get one of the things. Oh yeah, there's the garlic as well. Evolved garlic! This lets us collect both of the treasure chests and get a thing out of each of them. <laughs> it's what I meant to say. <laughs> Totally what I meant to say. It's interesting that it doesn't guarantee you a triple by having two things ready to evolve. Like, you know, we always seem to get the triples when we had two things ready to evolve. We were just getting lucky. We were just getting really lucky in that aspect. Okay, well now everything just died. Can we find any more guys with treasure chests on them? We've got a few more minutes. That's an attract orb. Yeah, I think we've literally looped the entire map at that point. Because, like, there's orbs. Well, I guess we're breaking them as we go that quickly, I guess. <laughs> I was going to say, there's a lot of stuff over here, but no, I think it's... um. We're never getting out to full level. Fire ones. It's just that we're doing that much damage ahead of ourselves that it is, you know, causing there to be gems in front of us. Okay, this is really laggy. Look at all these guys! <laughs> okay, they aren't full of treasure chests, sadly, but <laughs> that would have been amazing. Like, a million guys full of treasure chests. No, sadly, not the case. Endless treasure chests would have been the thing, but not... They're not that polite. I guess we have to find an elite version of him now to get a treasure chest. Okay, we've got a minute and a half left of this level. <laughs> I don't think we're evolving anything else, so I might as well just grab that. Uh, spin it. I do wonder what's going to happen at the end of this. Like the garden has turned into a more dystopian nightmare at this point with men and pillars everywhere. Very little foliage anymore. Sure, there's a little bit growing on the, the pillars, but mostly it's pillocks and pillars. And lag. <laughs> lots and lots of lag. Any more tracked orbs? Again, we continue to just run in one direction, but maybe lagging the game out more than it should. Okay, flowers. Okay, flowers have taken hold again. It's not just that if I continue that way, it's out of the zone of the men. No, it's just... The game heard me and was like, you want flowers? I give you flowers and pots and everything you could ask for. There's still nothing that can injure you, really. <laughs> But no more treasure. No, nope. that'd be too nice. Why would they give me more treasure chests? Why would they ever give me more treasure chests? That's too much to ask, isn't it? Okay, keep 
Keep going down the loot. Okay, there's like 15 seconds left of this before it pops. 10. <laughs> getting very, very laggy. We're getting a lot of gold out of this as well. Which is probably the bonus. Did we get an attract orb or what was that? Okay. Four seconds over. <laughs> it popped. Um, there was still pots and stuff growing. It didn't delete everything. The death spiral, of course, did the most. Defeat a million enemies. Survive 15 minutes in the malaise. Unlock skip. Okay. Unlock crunchy. Crunchy. Oh, we got some unlocks. I guess that's why you do that one for like the 10,000, 10 million enemies. And crotchy, whatever that is. Um, sure, let's um, unlock the armor. Right, Imelda. But we're going to the challenge area. Plays where mortals are not allowed. Fate changes every minute. Okay, so the levels can change every minute. And I'm pretty sure there are levels that we don't have on. We only have this one random Azo card. So we can't get uh, another one. We can only get that one. Which is interesting. Okay. I wonder what fate changes every minute means. Guess there's only one way to find out. We have to survive 30 minutes. Maybe it's the enemies that we face? I don't know. Okay, well this is perfect. Not perfect. What? <laughs> what is that? It's an item. We need to go to it. What are you? Um, a magic banger. It doesn't look like a sausage to me. Family has it to change music in stage selection. Okay. We can change the bangers of the music. So it's not an actual item upgrade. It's just like, change the bangers. So we can change the music anytime that we want. Game, if there's one that you particularly like, a banger, so to speak. <laughs> Not in the sausage scent, but the the tunes. So an absolute banger of a tune. Okay, our fate is about to change. I'm surprised the garlic wasn't working on the bats. It normally works on the bats. Normally very effective against these. I guess fate changing means enemy. Okay, we're taking the axe. It gives us a very high-powered weapon. Yeah, it's the enemies. Okay, is it random or are they, like, fixed? Is it just, like, you know, you will face these enemies and then these enemies for a minute and these enemies for a minute? Or is it randomized? Because, you know, if it's randomized, that's pretty good. I guess that's why um, garlic wasn't effective against the bats. Because, you know, if you've got enemies that are particularly prone to garlic, it just makes it not a challenge, right? So we seem to be, like, emanating a aura. Right, I'll take the duplicator. Having extra projectiles seems very effective in all of our weapons pretty early. Obviously, we can upgrade that to be even better. Right, there's not much point to be running off in a million circles. Wow, we did zero damage in one of those hits to one of those. What even are these? <laughs> Face mud golems? I mean, might as well start upgrading that. I was going to say, surely we'll get some elites. Maybe this dragon thing is some elite. I don't know. Ah, two minutes, of course. And now we're facing skulls and bats and all sorts. But it's not just one set of our enemies. We're now facing several sets with the extra mint. I'm not going to take the Santa water. Like, it might be good. It might upgrade to be really, really overpowered, you know, with its evolution. But, you know, we'll take what we know. Admittedly, it's not like, you know, we should venture out. But until we've beaten all the levels, why venture out? Why, why not stick to what we know? We can try other builds and other things when we've beaten the entire game. <laughs> I want to take the birds. I want to upgrade the birds to full and get them going on. So if we can try and do that, that's what I'm going to try and do. 
those are the birds and upgrade those to maximum and then we get an extra weapon as well magic wands spinach upgrades with something but i don't know what it upgrades with okay we've got a legendary but you know it's a bit early for treasure chests but hey maybe maybe we should just take it for the item rather than trying to get an evolution Probably worth it, right? Oh, we took some really stupid damage there. I do like the garlic. <laughs> I do. Oh yeah, these things regenerate. I forgot that. <laughs> these things don't actually properly die. They come back to life every time you hurt them. So, you know, we have to be very, very cautious. That. Does killing this guy stop them all? It's interesting that he bounces back from us. <laughs> okay. Out my way. <laughs> that was probably a really stupid move how we just handled that. Now we're in the middle of them in the middle of a scene. It's a ball sack. There's garlic. And 70 quid. Okay, base area up and base damage. That might help. Maybe it'll start actually killing them now. Okay. Well, I mean, if we just freeze everything, it definitely does, but... <laughs> Magic Wand. With it being more damage, in, I was thinking maybe we could just walk through them at this point. Yeah, okay, so we can walk through those ones. We can maybe walk through everything? <laughs> okay, we may just be... No, we're not. We're not fully immortal, but we can walk through a lot of them. We've been taking that fire one a lot as well. It's tempting. Okay, maybe not everything. <laughs> but these things, for certain, we can just walk through. And the, um, the, the pale ones. But not the armoured bright green ones. Okay, so pick our targets to walk through. The wikis. The wiki leaks. Are definitely the targets. I should have gone for the axe. <laughs> I 100% should have upgraded the axe there. Let's get that one to its ultimate form and then focus on the other things. But, you know, the wand is also pretty good. Okay, it's going to do more damage at the moment. Okay, let's get out of this circle. Duplicate up. Although we can just walk around and kill the circle as well. <laughs> ah, it was a trap, was it? Well, well, I mean, the real trap is I'm killing your trap. The real trap is I have gone round and walked into every bit of your trap and destroyed it. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know they were blue. Dabba dee dabba die. I thought they would die when I walked into them. Nope, they're not green. They were green, they would die. <laughs> Can't believe I it ended up with that meme. Can't believe I ended up accidentally on that meme. But it's true! If they were green, they would have died to the garlic. But they were blue. So they lived. <laughs> what a banger! A magic banger! No, I don't think that's what we were intending to say. Somehow, it's all tying together. I'm going to take the Bible. Pentagram might not be bad. Okay, we've only got slots for one more weapon and we need the other birds in it. We need the other birds, otherwise we can't upgrade them. Needed to become an option over everything else. And then we've got slots for literally any of the spare things. We haven't seen like the synergies in the drops of the other things either, have we? Okay. Magic wand. We don't want Santa water. Okay, don't give me something I don't want. <laughs> Don't give me a random thing like Santa water. Garlic. Good. Okay. I'll take a leveling garlic. 
That's actually pretty good. Actually pretty good. It'll just melt everything in sight. With literal fire. Oh. There's a green. There's many green things up here. King Bible. We don't want the attract orb. <laughs> I really don't want that attract orb. It's not attractive to me. Attractiveness is in the eye of the beholder. You know, some people find things attractive that other people don't. And that's okay. okay there's many of these dragons lined up here. Right, we're seven minutes in, to be fair. The fates have changed several times over that, which I, you know, haven't been paying attention to the fates changing because it's just like, you know, hey, enemies change. That's normally what happens. That's always what happens. Like, I don't know if it's on the minutes every time in the regular game mode. I kind of want to know what's up through them. Like, they seem to be hiding something. A uh, more challenging path, fighting through dragons. Okay. We fought through the dragons. And it's unleashed some new things. There's something up there. Is there actually something up there? Oh, that's just us. Right. Well, there's stuff down there. Right, we should head back down. <laughs> I don't know if I made it hard for myself by doing that. I think I may have done. It may not, because it seems like we've had better things until I killed all those dragons. And they were optional. I didn't need to fight them. And then I killed them and then all of a sudden all of this came out. Okay, the PTO. Okay, so now we can upgrade the bird. Which will mean that, you know, we'll get an extra weapon out of it once they are upgraded. And we've got half an hour, so we've got an actual chance to do it. And actual, like, you know, enemies that are dropping chests frequently enough. Okay, that skull didn't drop a chest. I thought it would. Um, that's our garlic evil, so I'm going to take that. Even though we could get the ones up ready to go. If we get the opportunity to take something that does an upgrade, we take it. Okay, we can still kind of walk through everything. Well, we can definitely walk through everything when they're all frozen, huh? <laughs> That's a nice wall of enemies. Nice thick wads of enemies during that animation. Let's go get those. What happened to that chicken that we just left behind? Did I eat it? What happened there? Okay, moving on. More ghosts and goblins. Okay, we're leaving lots of crystals everywhere. But again, you know, we'll get an attractor, right? <laughs> it, it'll it'll come for us. Okay, there's a chicken and a Timex up there. So maybe I should work my way back up. That <laughs> impending group of ghosts says no. Okay, there's explosive their enemies now from level two coming to chase us right i should not let these despawn i should kill them off right, let's get the magic ones it passes through one more enemy is actually really good especially as we've got duplicated bullets and you know if we go back the way that we came we end up with like a million crystals we don't need to collect them all but walking back the way that we came is better Okay, the wand might be ready to evolve if we've got the item that it needs. I don't know if we've got the item that it needs to evolve, though. Okay, that pops all the enemies. Very handy. That's a red crystal. There's a treasure chest over there. Candelabra evolves our axe. Okay, we need that. Um... Axe level up. Garlic level up. I think it literally spawned and then popped. 
Okay, so we don't have the book yet for that, but we've got the Pichon and the Ebony Wing. We've got the Garlic for the Super Death. We don't know what goes with King Bible. Don't know what goes with King Bible. It can't be Santa War, sir, because that's another weapon. It can be. Because the two birds go together, so it actually could be. It actually could be the Bible and the Santa Water together. This is getting problematic. Wait, there's another elite there. I need the book before I touch that. Garlic's the closest to evolving. As much as the axe is good, garlic's really good as well, to be fair. And it's like the, the soul eater is, you know, actually good enough to be worth mentioning. Not a chicken. <laughs> it wasn't a chicken. There's a red. Oh, there's a few reds. We picked up a red and it. We picked up two reds and it didn't level us up. Excuse me? <laughs> okay, there's another bat there that should become, might become, a treasure chest. Because I don't think this last one did. Okay, garlic. Let's evolve. <laughs> Let's evolve while we can. Then we'll pick up all of this stuff and try for the book. There's some gigantic rattos, I see. <laughs> Soul Eater. Wait, not going to be the Attractor. It's not going to be the Garlic. Candelabra. Right. Axe. Axe is up. Okay, there's plenty of reds everywhere. Again, I'm getting these reds and I'm getting shocked that they're not just leveling us up. Okay, birds. Let's start leveling the birds. Trying. The garlic doing actual work. Okay, so there's like two elite bats right now. There were two elite bats. I don't know where the other one went. <laughs> sort of sent it flying off the map a bit. Get back here, you. Um, okay. How close are we on the things? Okay, so two more levels in the axe. Okay, well, we're nowhere near leveling, so I'm just gonna grab it. Maybe it'll give me five! <laughs> Won't. Hello, Piglet! Hello, hello, I like the raving little character you got going there. Perfect timing. <laughs> How are you? How's your day? Okay, we got a candelabra! And we've probably got a light show going on in the game, because... <laughs> I don't know what the beer age like. It did look good on, like, the video that I checked out when it, when it got pretty late game before. So, you know, ironically, my frame rate wasn't actually suffering. Despite many streamers who do have frame rates suffering with this. <laughs> but it is, like, a literal light show. Okay, one more axe, and we are good to so go grab that. So I'm going to save that. It is rave time! It's Wednesday. <laughs> Probably, I don't know, it's university rave time. It's like, it was university night out was Wednesday. At least in my university. And I think most universities in the UK, Wednesday night is like... The night to go out. Okay, no axe. I can skirt that red thing without getting the treasure chest. <laughs> It didn't actually give me as much experience as I thought it would. Right. Coming back down. We're getting all of this stuff. We're going to get this axe up before we grab that. Although, all these enemies are <laughs> having another plan on that. They want to say, no, you are not getting this. Okay, we got the axe. Time to go collect our treasure chest. And... Spread death everywhere. <laughs> With three upgrades. Let's go. Maybe even five. It might upgrade to five. It probably won't.
Candelabra, Burb, and the Axe. Let's go. Okay, so now things should be dying. Everything should just literally die in front of us now. <laughs> Including the frame rates. <laughs> Including the bit rates. Okay, that is already a treasure chest. Did we kill that guy? <laughs> I can't even see where he went. I think that treasure chest might be from him. Um, right, so we do actually need to upgrade both of the birds. Yeah, the frame rate. Definitely. Definitely amongst the things that are dying. <laughs> definitely amongst the many things that are dying. It's the frame rate. <laughs> I'm amazed we're not dying. <laughs> Spinach. No, we need the book before I even consider that. Like, I wonder if the spinach works with the Bible, is what I was thinking there, but until we experiment, we need to get the book that we need. Wait, you go up to level 7. Wait, there are many dragons! Again! Dragons are blocking my thing. Hello, that's my treasure chest. I will need to go to that at some point. I will need that treasure chest at some point. <laughs> okay, that's a lot of... A lot of harpies. Many harpies getting in my way. And... <laughs> definitely eating the bit rates. Dragons and harpies. There's the book that we needed. Right, okay. So. Now I just need to... Not lose all my health in an instant. What happened there? Now I just need to get into that treasure chest. <laughs> and everything will be fine. Okay. I need to... There we go. We've killed the dragons. Let me to that treasure chest. <laughs> my treasure chest, right. Get off my treasure chest. Okay, now we can upgrade this. And get more upgrades. Let's go. Multiple items. Perfect. Those harps are very handy. <laughs> okay, so we've got the upgraded ones. And we got some health regen after we lost a ridiculous amount of health. Surprisingly... We were not immortal. <laughs> Even with a million damage upgrades, we were we were getting hit pretty hard there. And it's only 16 minutes in, to be fair. But there's a, way more of this challenge still left to go. Okay. Uh, Pizza, I'm going to take the treasure chests early. Like, we've got a few upgrades. We don't need to save it for anything. We're not anywhere near upgrades and anything else. I'll take a level in the birds. Okay, let's go, let's go. And not die. <laughs> um, sure, take the birds. Let's get this elite. Although, <laughs> distracted by all the treasure that we've left lying everywhere. It's a million treasure orbs. <laughs> Literally exploding treasure everywhere. Where did that elite go? Where did he go? Did we get him? Is he dead? <laughs> did he run away scared? There he is. Hiding. The clover might be good. Um, there he is. He keeps vanishing. Get back here, you. How is the frame rate suffering when there are so few things on the screen? How is the frame rate still suffering when there's like no enemies? <laughs> Are my projectiles that much of a lag inducer that even with no enemies <laughs> we are lagging the game out? I think it's literally just me. It's not the enemies, it's me. I'm the lag. I'm the cause of the lag. 
If we upgrade the bird, though, this will be less laggy once it is upgraded. Copium. Because <laughs> half of these effects will be gone. Maybe. I'm not sure. But they might. They probably won't be, but they might. <laughs> Wait, there's enemies that I have not seen before. Obviously, I've seen the, um, the dragon things, but I've never seen that golemy guy. Are we anywhere near leveling? Anywhere near leveling. Okay, here's some treasure. I've not seen that giant golemy guy. He's probably another elite that's going to drop a treasure chest. But this is... <laughs> Taking actually a long time to level. Way too long to level. King Bible, sure. not what I would have liked, but I will take it. Okay. No, we got spare treasure chests lying about. I might as well take one of them. <laughs> like, you know, if we do get an upgrade, we can just grab the other treasure chest. We don't need to leave two of them lying about. Okay, I didn't realize that evolved the birds enough to get the birds, but I will take it i thought i had to upgrade both of them maybe you just have to upgrade the one but i upgraded the wrong one first time aquaman i think i upgraded the wrong one first time because <laughs> we maybe i had them at max level i don't know i might have i didn't think i did but i might have okay, let's take this and that gives us room for another weapon okay let's go we now have room for another weapon. We still haven't got all of our possible upgrades. We've got three empty spaces. Well, one's because we just made it with the bird, but at the same time, that's kind of ridiculous 20 minutes in that we haven't fully utilized everything that we could. Okay, now we've just got a rainbow of death coming from this bird, but I think it reduced the amount of effects that we've got going on. <laughs> Even if it is more of a rainbow than just black and white. I think it reduced the effects. Well, there are more enemies now on the screen. I wonder if I was lagging it so much that enemies couldn't even spawn. Wow, those bats just melt in my eating of souls. Okay, I should not be running in circles. That's apparently a terrible idea. I need to get out of this. <laughs> so, give me the fire ones. <laughs> I allowed them to mount up and that was not smart. Also, the lag is immense. What goes with the fire ones? Spinach! Okay. So we want spinach. We want something that goes with the Bible. I should have maybe held out for the electric. The lightning ones. Because we've got the other half of that. I should have consulted that before <laughs> the upgrades, I guess. Right, okay, it's time to just run away and not get caught in a never-ending loop of death. Time to just run through gaps <laughs> and live. At least we've got enough damage that we can do this. Okay. Ten more minutes to live. We might not make it. Ironically, as overpowered as we are. It's not a guarantee. Like, it's already almost killing us at this point. So, there's no guarantees on anything. And, you know, we're not going to level up now. Because we're running away from all of our level up stuff. Because it's just like, just survive. There's an elite bat. I would like to try and focus that. And if I keep pushing it back, although it's banished off the screen. <laughs> if I keep pushing it back, that works. And then we get an upgrade. They'll drop a treasure chest. But we can't afford to just sit around and wait. Come on, bat. There we go. 
Give me something nice. <laughs> give me something that would help here. What are you going to give me? A Bible. Mm, I guess, you know, the Bible is a circular thing around us. It kind of helps. And base damage up by 10. I guess that's kind of big. Right, I, I've left a treasure chest down there, apparently. <laughs> Time to loop back through everything. I guess looping back doesn't hurt, because now we get to pick up all of the gems that we left lying around. On the way to this treasure chest. Obviously, you can forgive me for not noticing amongst all of the... <laughs> all of the mess on the screen that we got going on. Okay, there was another bat there, but we're just going to leave him behind. We're not going to focus him. Ironically, these not moving enemies seem to be more of a hazard than the ones that were moving a lot. Okay, we are going into the fray. I don't think this was that smart because we seem to have left a lot of enemies still here somehow. <laughs> okay, another Bible. That might be ready to level up now. But we don't necessarily we definitely don't have the item that it needs because the items that we have go with the ones that we know so we definitely do not have the item for that oh, that was huge should they ever catch up amongst the lag there's a million gems lying about everywhere it, it's so laggy that they're not catching up <laughs> yeah here they come slowly but surely I feel like this goes with something. Spinach! Well, we know that that goes with something. Okay. So now we have fully... Right, all base damage up seems huge. All base damage up. Let's go. Okay, now we're doing a lot more damage because we're taking that. And also that really helps just taking all base damage up. To elite the ones. A lucky clover just on the floor. Yeah, all base damage up seems immense. Even if it doesn't level anything up, that's a lot more damage. And you can't complain at doing a lot more damage to a million enemies, right? Okay, well, these guys are charging in. Okay, so all the gems that he had left around have now been sucked up by the thing. There's a treasure chest up here. Yeah, I will, um... I'll work my way around to that. I can't just go straight back up that way. There's too many balls in the way. Coming through. I need this little thing over here. Okay, I'm not even going to pick up all the gems first. <laughs> A triple. Let's go. Nothing evolved though, right? Unless maybe it takes the level then evolves something. Candelabra, candelabra, spinach. Didn't even affect the weapon. And if it upgrades the weapon first and then another attractor. With amazingly a million more gems already just lying on the floor. If it upgrades the weapon twice and, you know, first time is getting it to max. Does it then, you know, give you evolution? Or is that just not possible? Because it's not even considering it when you pick it up. Because the thing isn't at that point leveled up. So I think it might not consider it. Okay, 24 minutes in. I'm still taking on this elite brute over here. And he popped into a red gem. He didn't pop into treasure. That sucks. Okay, we'll leave the chicken on the floor. We're kind of full health at the moment. As the <laughs> disco continues. That guy popped into the chest. Just going to take it. Like, we're not even going to hang about waiting for <laughs> evolutions. Fire ones. It'll gather. And if, if we get there, there'll be another elite by then. 100%. 100%. It's not giving me levels in the Pichon. Special. Which I guess maybe that only can be leveled up after everything else has naturally leveled. I'm not sure how that works. 
it's not giving me the option. It's giving me everything but that. Okay. These skulls seem like nothing. There's an end to the fields. <laughs> There's an end to the look at all those chickens. I think it was warning me. Okay, that's bullshit. We're staying away from Crabbo because he just flex evolved his thing into us as we walked past him. <laughs> I think that was warning us that we were um, near the edge of the game boundary. He was like, don't go down there. That is death. I really don't like his giant thing that grows on you because you know you start doing damage and then it just expands over you as you damage him okay we popped it but it's going to expand again there should be like 80 chickens here that's an attractor okay well we've got our health back now anyway so i'm gonna go and try and find this attractor wherever it may be where is it? <laughs> oh, of course it's up. Of course it's past Kravos. There it is. We haven't even got the laurel for protection. I'm surprised we did not take the laurel for protection against any hits. We've just gone straight out there, risking all the damage and all the death. Vandalier finally gets leveled up. Okay, take the fire ones up because we can probably evolve that i think we have the things for it right <laughs> if we do we do if we don't we don't i'm not gonna look in the tone okay here comes the flowers to take revenge on us they have evolved into people they've morphed with the wanderers that were in the garden and that's a giant crab claw they've morphed into them and they're coming for revenge for us chopping down all of the flowers in the garden. I should not be standing still. But I kind of need to take out this crab, so that's what I'm focusing on. So the bitrate is suffering immensely for it. I need to focus the crab body itself. Okay, he is just frozen in place and these flowers are not moving. So this is actually not terrible. This is not terrible. It might just be the frame rate. Okay, I need to get out of there now that they're removing enemies. Like, I'm not allowing myself to get fenced in there. <laughs> and there's a giant crab claw. I kind of don't like that the chicken increases our movement speeds, you know? Like, it sends us running into things at such a high velocity that it actually injures us. Especially with the lag and bit rates. Okay. Two minutes left to live. I don't think we're getting anything else out of this. We popped the crab though. I need to. <laughs> Get out of here before we die. <laughs> I'm amazed we got a path out of that. Okay. This is way too many elite bats at once. And they're absolutely not going to give me treasure. 100% they're not going to give me treasure. But I guess the leap bats, um, you know, they live longer than regular bats. And they're probably better than some of the things we could have had going on. It's not like it's elite aquamen, nothing but. <laughs> There's still one more minute after this. And who knows what that last minute's going to be. You've got a minute and a half left, actually. Yeah, but... <laughs> There's only 20 more seconds of these bats, and then we've got one more minute of probably everything hellish in the game at once. Right. <laughs> okay, we're never getting any of the items that we've left behind. We're not getting any more levels. Just focus on living. It's all about the golems. Okay. Many, many big golems that take up the entire screen are probably going to be very hard to navigate through. And they take so much health. <laughs> it's fine. We've only got 
30 more seconds. I can live through this. I just need to see the path that they allow me. If they allow me a path. I had to stall a bit there because they had blocked off my path. Okay, this is problematic. Give me a path. Give me... Give me. Where's my path? I need to just run into you. <laughs> Four seconds. Okay, we made it. Money. Oh, come on. You could have let me get the money. <laughs> no. No money for you. Bye. Bye. No money for me. Um, the magic banger. The bracer. The king bible to level four. Uh, survive 30 minutes in Green Acres. Okay. Also got a skip. Interesting. Interesting. 